Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Chris Weidman. I hope you guys can like it. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hub or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Weidman is five years the elder. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. And when we sat down with him on the first, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world. Especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lee's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now. Leads right back to the full mount here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Back to his feet. Side leg kick. Blocks the shot. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right point. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be a What a great play of big stuff in the tap. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, he got him hurt bad! He's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up. Quick entry here. Nice single leg like entry. Rotates the head outside to a high cross. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or when I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Came with inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the tops. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the... Again, going for the takedown here. That will absolutely work. It will absolutely work because every time he shoots, he is 100% certain he is going to secure Wyman's a takedown. trying for a submission here. Control now, goes upstairs for an elbow. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here. Whoa! You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Lee gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Right hand punch in the clinch. Rotates the lock and throws 
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Lands a big elbow there. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body line down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he's back up Beautiful again. You got him like that. Three minutes. Oh, wow. Quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Wyman's lower jump. Oh! Yeah. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking a good for right. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Weidman gets the tie clinch here. Going for the takedown, once again, able to get him. It's because he does such a phenomenal job of timing his entry. Truly, truly inspiring to watch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lee's back in full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Back mount now. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Inside the close guard now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up. He's hurt, He's hurt man. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Lyman gets hit with a kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Yeah, that right there was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Chris Weidman. Thank you guys for watching.
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.